I'm Ross Bjork, the Ole Miss Athletics Director, and you're watching Rebel Watch. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Rebel Watch. I'm Browning Stubbs alongside Breck Jones. Breck, how's it going? Doing great, how are you? I'm doing great. And on today's show, we are going to preview the 2016 Rebels Choice Awards, which celebrates the accomplishments of both Ole Miss student athletes on the field and in the classroom. The awards are staged for Monday, April 25th at 6.30 p.m. right here at the Pavilion at Ole Miss. You ready to get things going? Let's do it. Let's start with the Rookie of the Year nominees on the men's side. You have baseball's Will Golson, football's Javon Patterson, men's golf's Braden Thornberry, and on the women's side, you have softball's Elantra Cox, volleyball's Catherine Cather, and women's soccer's CeCe Kaiser. Now let's start with football's Javon Patterson Breck. Javon Patterson played a huge impact, mainly because, you know, his starting left tackle, his friend, his teammate, Laramie Tunsil missed seven games due to a suspension, and Patterson, next man up, right? He had to step up, and he played very well. He did play really well. You know, he uh, he solidified the interior of that offensive line when they had some injuries, like you talked about, and some suspensions, and you had Conyers go down. And he stepped in and played 12 games, six starts, played it right and left guard. You know, he really was a very integral part of this offensive line. And, Breck, one more nominee that's really intriguing is men's golf's Braden Thornberry, talk about the successful freshman year he had. You know, he's just one of those guys that the new golf coach is bringing in. He's really changing the standard here. He earned a top 10 finish in the third tournament of the season. He finished tied for fourth at the Seminole Intercollegiate Classic. And you know, he had a season low round of 18 score with five under. You know, it was just, he had a great year. Breck, he had an outstanding year. And last year, the Ole Miss baseball team made the NCAA tournament for the 13th time in the last 15 years, but a major part of that was a freshman who had a huge impact. Let's throw it over to Swayze Field with Jacob Duke, who has more on Will Golson. Jacob? Thanks, guys. The Ole Miss baseball team had a rough year last year, but was still able to make the NCAA tournament, thanks in part to Will Golson's big year. I had a chance to speak with Will Golson about how he feels about being nominated for the Rebel Choice Awards Rookie of the Year. Infielder Will Golson was third in batting average on the Ole Miss baseball team last season, and he finished his freshman year with 26 RBIs. A season like that earned him a nomination for Rookie of the Year. I'm blessed. Just to uh, be nominated for something like that and, uh, at Ole Miss is uh, it's a blessing. And it's, uh, it's cool to know that people uh, acknowledge what I did last year for a little bit. Golson has steadily been improving since last season. He has a 266 batting average this season with three home runs and 24 RBIs. Staying short and trying to uh, do my part in the, uh, the lineup. Just trying to get timely hits when they need them and just uh, step up and uh, be the guy for it. Golson has had another big year this season and has emerged as one of the premier bats in this Rebels lineup. Don't be surprised if he's nominated for a few more Rebels Choice Awards in the future. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Jacob. Now let's get to the women's side, starting with Elantra Cox of the Ole Miss softball team. And she had a great rookie season, Breck. You know, head coach Mike Smith has really come in and kind of changed the program, and he's bringing in top recruits like Elantra, and she led the team in average and hits and runs, stolen bases. She came up four uh, stolen bases shy, breaking the school record in her freshman year. So, you know, she's really come in and dominated. She was a freshman All-SEC player, and, you know, she's just one of those leaders on the team now, just one year into the program. Now, in volleyball, Katherine Catherbreck, you know, played in all 32 matches, made the all SEC freshman team. What an impact she had, too. She did. She did. She played in all the matches, like you said. She finished with a 253 hitting percentage. Uh, she helped the Re Rebels to a school record 13 home wins. And, I mean, she's just one of those people that's stepping up. There's a, chain, a culture change in Ole Miss athletics, and you can see it all throughout all the different sports, including the women's sports and volleyball and softball and all the new coaches. I couldn't agree more with you on Catherine Cather there. Now the favorite to win this award on the women's side 
is CC Kaiser, who helped lead the Ole Miss soccer team to yet another NCAA tournament appearance. Let's throw it over to Kristen Banks at the Ole Miss Soccer Stadium for more on CC Kaiser. Thanks guys. It was a season to remember for the Ole Miss soccer team as they advanced to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. Thanks in part to freshman CC Kaiser. I got a chance to talk to Kaiser about her standout freshman year as well as her two nominations for Rebel Choice Awards. And here's the shot, there's the score, CC Kaiser, goal number six, a game winner in overtime. I was really nervous at first when I came in and everyone was just so like welcoming and and I guess as the um, preseason went on and everything, I just became more comfortable and I was just really focused on playing my game and doing everything that I could to help the team um, succeed. And, you know, we had a pretty successful season, so it was great to be a part of. Not only was the team successful, but Kaiser went on to win Freshman of the Year. Here's what Coach Mott had to say about the standout freshman. Cece is just a natural talent. She really is a, a special player. She's really, really good with the ball. Um, she knows how to score. I think you have people that score goals and you have a goal scorer and Cece's a goal scorer. She understands how to beat defenses. She understands how to beat goalkeepers and, and a lot of that is just a natural ability that she has. Um, she's very, very humble. Um, you know, she's not arrogant or anything like that. Uh, she's great to be around. She clowns around with everybody. She's the overall really great teammate and, and just does her job and, and does her job the best she can and uh, she's a pleasure to coach. Let's see what Kaiser is thinking about being nominated for not one, but two Rebel Choice Awards. Up in the top right corner, and Ole Miss takes a 3-2 lead. What if I win and I have to go on stage and I like fall off the stage or something? <laughs> but I guess I was just like, oh my gosh, it's a huge honor just to be recognized for putting in all the hard work that I have been putting in the past and just for the successful season that we had. Though she is nominated for Most Valuable Rebel, she is likely to get Rookie of the Year due to multiple single season records here at Ole Miss. For Rebel Watch, I'm Kristen Banks. Back to you guys at the Pavilion. All right, we just wrapped up the Rookie of the Year nominees, and now when we come back on Rebel Watch, we're going to talk about the Most Valuable Rebel nominations. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Have you heard about a place in the hollow where the trouble gets stirred? Come with me, running free. I'll show you everything that a country girl needs. Come on, jump on in. Take you to the feel good part said. Ain't no need to buckle up when you're riding shotgun in this pickup truck. Living on the edge, hanging on my bed. Welcome back to Rebel Watch. I'm Browning Stubbs with Brett Jones. Now let's get to one of the biggest awards of the night, and that's the Most Valuable Rebel Award. Let's get to the nominees. Of course, on the men's side, Chad Kelly of the football team, Stefan Moody of the basketball team, Ryan Walling of the men's track team. And on the women's side, of course, Raven Saunders of women's track, Allison Weiss of the rifle team. And yet again, CC Kaiser gets another nomination of women's soccer. Now let's start on the women's side. Now, Rebel Watch earlier in the year had on Allison Weiss of the rifle team, and man, she's just an impressive student athlete, Brick. She is, you know, she really embodies what being a student athlete's all about. She was an academic All-American, or an All-American scholar. She has a bronze medal at the Air Rifle and NCAA Championship, so she finished third there. She was uh, All-American honors in Air Rifle. She took third in the Air Rifle at the GARC Championships, and she tied the school record at Air Rifle in the GARC Championships as well. So she's just a great all-around athlete. Couldn't agree more with you about Allison Weiss. Very great shooter for the rifle team. Now, we just talked about CeCe Kaiser a little while ago, Breck. You know, she's a favorite to win the Rookie of the Year, 
But what makes you think she actually has a chance to win the Most Valuable Rebel? Well, you know, she led the team in goals, so I don't know what else you could ask for in a soccer player. She was an All-American, uh, first, first team All-SEC. She was a freshman of the year. Uh, she was the first Rebel to earn that since 2005. She was named first team All-American. She was named number six freshman in the nation, according to the site's top 100 soccer players. So. Uh, she just embodies everything about what you want in a soccer player and a score. She definitely has a bright future with the Ole Miss soccer team. Now, one sport that doesn't have a lot of stars and doesn't get a lot of attention is the Ole Miss track and field team. For more, we're going to throw it over to Nick Dunavant at the Ole Miss track and field stadium for more on two people that are nominated for Most Valuable Rebel. Thanks, Browning. It's not very common to shatter an NCAA record, but that's just one of the many feats that Ole Miss track and field stars Raven Saunders and Ryan Walling accomplished. Both athletes are very deserving of the Rebels' Choice nominations due to their outstanding excellent seasons. There's no doubt that Ryan Walling and Raven Saunders are some stud athletes. Walling was the recipient of the Cliff Harper Trophy, which honors the most points at an SEC indoor meet. He was the first Rebel to ever win two individual indoor titles at the same meet. He even broke the school record for the indoor 5,000 meters. Speaking of broken records, Raven Saunders broke the all-time collegiate shot put record with over 19 meters. Saunders has a long-term goal to do well in the NCAA championships and the Olympics. Ultimately, one of my biggest things that I want to do to say, you know, a college sophomore, especially in uh, an event where it takes really brute strength and you know really good technique that a lot of people really can't do at such a young age and in America especially it's never before been done. Saunders is very proud of herself after learning she was up for Most Valuable Rebel. It means that I've done really great things here you know although I may not have accomplished uh, everything I wanted being recognized shows that I at least did something right. There's even more potential for the Ole Miss track and field team to shine this summer as they begin to qualify for the Summer Olympics. Qualifying will take place in July in Oregon, and if anyone does well enough, we could be seeing them in Rio de Janeiro. For Rebel Watch Ole Miss, I'm Nick Donovan. Now we are broadcasting the Rebel Watch, Rebel's Choice Awards preview show right here at the Pavilion, or I guess you could say the house that Moody built. For more, we're going to throw it over to Matt Bartonhouse at the Tui Center for more on Stefan Moody. Thanks, Browning. I'm here at the Tui Center, where Stefan Moody put in hours of work to become what is arguably the greatest Rebel to ever put on a basketball uniform. Now here's Stefan on his past, present, and possible future in the NBA. They say Dynamite comes in small packages, and Dynamite is exactly what Stefan Moody was for the Rebel men's basketball team in the 2015-16 season. Leading the SEC with 23 points per game, Smoody used his 5'10 frame to carve up defenses and lead the Rebels to yet another 20-win season. However, Moody's favorite memory was not from this season, but his junior season. I had to be that Florida game, I guess, last year when I hit the game with a shot. Uh, you know, I mean, my whole family was there. I had you know, a lot of people from my city there. Moody makes his case for why he should hear his name called in this June's NBA draft. I work hard, you know, I put in all the hours, you know, behind the scenes, you know, so when I step on the court, it's, it's flawless. Despite being known for scoring, Moody wants you to know that he can do more than just shoot the rock. I don't, I'm not really, you know, stuck down to one type of game, you know, I can score, I can pass, you know, I can spot up shoot, you know, I can play defense, you know, so it's not really just one thing that I would choose. Moody tells me he has not hired an agent yet and he was not invited to the NBA Draft Combine, which should hurt his chances of being drafted. However, scouts may look at the film and decide that's the guy who he wants on his team. But if not, he'll have to prove himself on, in summer league or on a training camp roster. Hopefully he makes it. Back to you, Browning, at the Pavilion. Now lastly, the Ole Miss football team, of course, had a spectacular season, going 10-3 and and capping off the season with a Sugar Bowl victory. One player set or tied 14 single season records and I think we all know who that is. For more let's throw it over to Kelsey Davis at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. Thanks guys and you said so yourself. Chad Kelly had an absolutely huge impact on this team in his first season at Ole Miss. I had the chance to sit down and talk to him about his record setting season and the rest of his success as well as his nomination at the Rebels Choice Awards. Let's take a look. Football spring practices wrapped up and star QB Chad Kelly has his eyes on the prize for next season. I want to win an SEC championship and a national championship. That's our main goal. That's the whole whole team's goal and 
we really feel like we can do that. But in the meantime, the Sugar Bowl MVP is up for another award here at the That's Rebels' Choice Awards, throw. Most Valuable Rebel. By that front. Now he escapes and runs for a first down. When asked what it would mean to him to win Most Valuable Rebel, he said it would be great. There's been a lot of hard work and dedication put in. Now it'll be hard to beat out Stefan Moody, but a 10-3 and record and bringing home a Sugar Bowl back to Oxford, it's hard to ignore. Back to you guys at the Pavilion. All right, coming up on Rebel Watch, and we're going to wrap up the show talking about the coach of the year, the game of the year, the plays of the year, and the team of the year. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Don't worry. The 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Welcome back to Rebel Watch, Breck. We are in the final block here and some great plays from Ole Miss Athletics this season. And here are the list for the Rebels Choice Awards from baseball, Colby Bortles Grand Slam to force extra innings leading to win over number one Vanderbilt and football, Quincy Adebojo's tip six against Alabama and women's basketball, Erica Sisk buzzer beater to beat Vanderbilt and in women's soccer, the Rebels two to one victory over Arkansas with Maddie Freeman's goal at the 110 minute mark. And for a full list of the plays, we are going to play them for you. Please enjoy. Almost six, eight inches. Pick up the first down. High snap. Kelly has to collect it. Makes a desperation heave into traffic. Treadwell off his hands and into the hands of Adebayo. A crazy carom and a touchdown for the Rebels. And Marquez Webb. Ole Miss gets it in. Sis before the buzz. year was a very successful season for not just the student athletes but the coaches as well. The football team won the Sugar Bowl, the men's and women's track team set multiple records and of course the soccer team made the Sweet 16. David Kennedy has the story. 2015 was one of the best years in Ole Miss sports history which makes this year's choice for coach of the year even harder. Matt Mott helped lead the Ole Miss soccer team to its first ever Sweet 16 appearance in school history. Entire country, so to be nominated amongst that group is, is really humbling, really special, and, and, and I don't think I should be the coach of the year. I think whoever they vote for is great. In Coach Freeze's fourth year, the Ole Miss football team had its biggest bowl win since Archie Manning won the team the Sugar Bowl back in the early 1970s. The SEC and to be able to come and win the, the first Champions Bowl between the SEC and the Big 12 is is a big big deal. I mean, this team just won the three most important games, arguably in, in, on our schedule, right in a row, and, and did it in convincing fashion. 
Coaching just one NCAA track team may seem like a tough challenge, but imagine coaching the women's and men's team while producing two of the best athletes in the country. Yeah, you know, it's real. It's an honor to be nominated, and then I look at the other nominees, and, and it's a tough field. But, you know, just to be nominated for it is, is really an honor, and uh, I'm excited about it. All so three of these coaches of led their teams to amazing we've had seasons. Some but who will take home the Coach of the Year trophy? We'll find out and Monday night. We'll watch. By how I'm hard we Breck Ole Miss Athletics had some awesome games this year. Really, every sport, you know, you could have had one nominated, but they were limited to four at the Rebels Choice Awards. And here they are for Game of the Year Women's Soccer, the big victory over Clemson to get to the Sweet 16. And in football, the road victory over Alabama, women's basketball the buzzer beater to defeat Vanderbilt, and in baseball, Ole Miss sweeps Mississippi State. And for a look back on all of those impressive games, we're going to show you the highlights. Please enjoy. Second and one. Kelly keeps it, throws it, and a completion. Battle Carter is running free, and a touchdown for Ole Miss. Kelly went right to the line of scrimmage, stopped and delivered. It's a page out of that Auburn playbook. And for the grand award of the night is the team of the year. Some certainly great nominees from the football team, the men's indoor track and field soccer team, and softball. Let's take a look at some of the great moments in all of these sports. The trophy will stay in Oxford, Mississippi for another year. Their first win here in Starkville since 2003 when they won that game 31 to nothing. As Brooke Feldmeyer, the freshman from Old Miss, giving chase, there might not be enough real estate, and the freshman is going to take it on the outside. What a drive to the tape. That's a wow for a freshman. Wins by less than two tenths of a second. Brooke Feldmeyer bided her top. Miller sends it off to the right side. This ball centered in toward the box. Hit her by Formis, her second. Second goal for Old Miss. A 2-0 lead for the Rebels. 16 and 9, and that is career win number 800 for head coach Mike Smith. What stood out in this career win number 800 as Mike Smith gets doused? Now it's time for our picks with Breck Jones and Browning Stubbs. We're going to make our predictions for the Rebels' Choice Awards in 2016. Let's start with the Men's Rookie of the Year, Breck. And I'll, st I'll start th things off. I mean, I think this is a very close discussion. Uh, I think I'm going to give it to Will Golson, though. I think Will Golson, you know, started almost every game, started 45 games out of 53, hit 290, the third highest average on the team. And he really played a big impact in getting his team to the NCAA tournament. So who do you have taking home this award? I think that's a very good pick, but I, I'm going to have to go with Javon Patterson. I just think that he really played a key role in helping the team get to the Sugar Bowl and winning all the games that they did. And without him, you know, where would this offensive line be? They uh, they had so many injuries and things happened where they had to rotate guys in and out of there. And he was one of the mainstays inside and interior of that offensive line. So I think without him, I don't, I don't know where the football team would be. You know, it's going to be a very close discussion between Will Golston and Javon Patterson. I really think it could go either way. Now let's get to the Women's Rookie of the Year. And I'll, uh, you know, this is probably going to be unanimous here, but it's, it's going to be CeCe Kaiser of the Ole Miss women's soccer team. You know, she led the team in goals. Uh, you know, she was a really just a prolific player, was the freshman of the year in the SEC. Overall, just an outstanding year from CC Kaiser. Rack, I, I don't think you have any objections, do you? I, I don't have any objections whatsoever. I, I think anything but CC Kaiser would be a massive upset. So I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. Now, shout out, though, to Catherine Catherine, 
Elantra Cox, who also has some spectacular seasons. Now, Breck, let's get to the men's most valuable player. This award is going to be a tough one to decide. Two guys, Chad Kelly, Stephon Moody, uh, give credit to Ryan Walling as well. But if you look at the football team, if they didn't have Chad Kelly, they would not be a Sugar Bowl team. They'd be 6-6, six and six, maybe 7-5. and five. But Stephon Moody and the basketball team, if you take Moody off the Rebel, Rebel Soups team, they're probably winning 10, 11 games. In my opinion, Stephon Moody is going to get the narrow edge in this one, 24 points per game. Um, just a fantastic year for Moody. But this will be close. If I see an award maybe splitting, it would be this one between Kelly and Moody. Breck, what about you? To me, this is the most fascinating award of the night. I, I, like you said, if it was split, you know, if you could split the trophy in half, I think it would go <laughs> to these two guys right here. I'm going to have to go with Chad Kelly. You know, they had the best season since the late 60s or whenever Archie Manning went to the Sugar Bowl. And he broke a lot of school records that were set by the Mannings and other great players in, this, in the in Ole Miss. And, you know, without him, I, like you said, this team might be 7-5, and five, which is a completely different story. Moody had a great year, and not to take anything away from that, but the team didn't make the postseason. And Chad Kelly helped lead this team to the Sugar Bowl, which is a New Year's Six game, which is a really big deal. So I'm going to have to lean Chad here, but obviously, Stefan, great year. I couldn't agree more. Now let's get to the women's side with Raven Saunders, Allison Wise, and CeCe Kaiser. CeCe Kaiser, you know, uh, she is probably going to take home the rookie of the year, but has got some tough competition with Raven Saunders. Honestly, th this one could go either way, too, but I am going to give it slightly to Raven Saunders of the Ole Miss women's track team. I mean, set multiple records in the shot put, was the SEC champion shot put winner. Breck, what about you? I'm gonna have to agree with you here. I think it is Raven Saunders, and I, was, I thought you'd go CC Kaiser, <laughs> but I, I think Raven is gonna win this award. You know, it's hard to argue. I think she's got a good shot at making the Olympic team this summer. And so it's hard to argue with the world-class athlete that's an Olympian, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the women's coach of the year is obviously gonna be Connie Price-Smith, because she's the only nominee. But she also coaches the men's track and field team, and she's in that category versus Hugh Freeze and Matt Mott. You know, again, a really tough category. Hugh Freeze and Matt Mott both had very successful years. Hugh Freeze winning the Sugar Bowl, Matt Mott getting his team to the Sweet 16. You know, Freeze has won this award in the past. Uh, man, this is, this is really a, a coin flip as well. But I, I am going to say Hugh Freeze will win this award. Again, you know, the team 10 and 3. Sugar Bowl victory, but again, you can make a case for Matt Mott. Brad, who do you have? I think this is the upset. I think <laughs> Matt Mott takes it. You know, he, he helped lead the team to the Sweet 16 for their first time in school history, and they had a great year after they had to replace some tough players, and I really think that Matt did a great job coaching this soccer squad, and I, I think this is the one that's going to shock some people, but I think that Matt Mott could really win this award. Now let's get to the game of the year. You know, this is, uh, you know, I think the soccer team beating Clemson is certainly a, a very honoring game, but beating Alabama on the road uh, for just, the, I guess, the second or third time they've done it in their school history, Bama, the victory, is going to win this award. I, I can't argue with that. I think if there's a blowout in here, I think it's <laughs> the game of the year. I think that that Alabama game is what everybody had so much fun, whether you're in Tuscaloosa or you're here in Oxford watching the game. I just think that that was one of the most fun times to be, you know, an Ole Miss fan. And the play of the year, I think, again, this is going to be a blowout. The, the tip six, you know, the, the fact that Chad Kelly threw this football and it deflected off Treadwell, off another Alabama defender. Adebojo came up with the catch, took it 60-plus yards to the house. Tip six is going to win this award. What do you think? I think so, too. I mean, we, we keep picking football, but... That Bama game was special. You may never see anything like that tip six ever again. I mean, I think that was a once-in-a-lifetime kind of play right there. Now, Breck, I feel like a lot of these awards tonight, they've come down to football and soccer, which now we're going to do the team of the year with football, men's indoors track and field, soccer, and softball. But, you know, this is really, again, a toss-up between football and soccer. I'm going to go with football, though. Yeah, I have to agree. You know, most school wins since Eli Manning was here and first Sugar Bowl, broken record again, but I think that the football team is probably the team of the year. All right, Breck, well, that wraps up the Rebel Watch 2016 Rebels Choice Awards preview show. Was it fun? I had a blast, man. 
Great being here with you, Brett. All right, now the Rebels' Choice Awards are set for Monday, April 25th at 6.30 p.m. right here at the Pavilion at Old Miss with the red carpet starting at 5.30. For Brett Jones, I'm Browning Stubbs. Thank you for watching.